just arrived in Sleepy Hollow, New York. I'm on a bit of a day trip today, a very fall and Halloween themed day trip that is. This small village is of course most famous for the author Washington Irvine's story of the legend of Sleepy Hollow and the Headless Horseman. My plan today is of course to see some of the sights that were in the story, but I just want to see as much as possible. So without any further delay, let's get exploring. Sleepy Hollow is actually located right along the Hudson River here, which makes for some really beautiful views and scenery. So with that, I'll be heading to the historic Sleepy Hollow Lighthouse. It's also so friggin' cold and windy right now. I mean, I swear, last week I was wearing a t-shirt, no jacket, no hoodie, no nothing. I'm freezing right now. All right, hopefully it'll warm up onto the lighthouse. Right now I'm walking through Kingsland Point Park, a very pleasant area, and I can see the lighthouse up ahead. Massive success, I have found the Sleepy Hollow Lighthouse. It looks really neat. It's pretty old, I read it was built in the 1880s. And look at this. Looks like someone's going around barefoot. Well, the lighthouse is really cool. It's not why people come to Sleepy Hollow, but I wanted to see it first because of the way the sun is hitting it right now. It's in its best light. But now I'm gonna go more towards the interior of Sleepy Hollow and see some of the more notable sites. Another thing, well, it looks really nice out, and it is, it is. It's pretty damn cold. I am freezing. Well, the temperature is like 54, not that bad. But the wind is so intense, so annoying. I'm freezing, very uncomfortable. I hope it warms up. I'm not prepared for this fall weather. I gotta get into the season. I will now shut up because no one likes a complainer. Now I'm heading towards the Old Dutch Church and the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. Irving, along with a number of other notable individuals, are buried at the cemetery. It looks pretty creepy. It's one of the top sites here. I can't wait. That's really odd to say. I've never been excited to go to a cemetery before. It's Sleepy Hollow. So I was on the way to the cemetery and I stumbled across what is labeled as the Headless Horseman Bridge. It's not the actual bridge from the story. As you can see, it's quite modern, but it is dedicated to the author, Washington Irving. I know there's another bridge that's wooden, that's more akin to the one that was in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, but I'm right outside the cemetery. I'm gonna go check that out first. Right outside the old Dutch church, not only was this a site mentioned in the legend of Sleepy Hollow, it's a very old and significant church. It was built in 1697. That's old for this country. The church is closed though, but I was able to sneak a small peek through the window and you know, it's very nice. Simple, plain, but beautiful. I just saw Washington Irving's grave. It's kind of blocked off. It's in this family plot, so you can't go right up to it. But still, it was absolutely really neat to see the final resting place of an absolute legend. Of course, he's most known for The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, but he also did Rip Van Winkle and a number of notable biographies, like one about George Washington. He's not just a one-note author. There are also a lot of other notable burials here, including a lot of rich people the Astors, Rockefellers, even Andrew Carnegie is buried here. And those are some of the graves I'm gonna to try to find next. As I strolled through the cemetery, I was overwhelmed by the beauty of it all. The flowing hills and autumn colored trees with the pleasant sounds of birds made for a peaceful walk as I searched for notable graves. I 
just paid a visit to Andrew Carnegie's grave. Yeah, it's quite a humble cross for literally being one of the richest humans in history, especially compared to the nearby Rockefeller mausoleum. Now the Carnegie name is still very well known these days, mainly because Andrew Carnegie during the last 18 years of his life gave away almost 90% of his fortune to charitable causes. In terms of inflation, that means he gave away billions and billions of dollars during his lifetime. Respect. I've arrived at this beautiful stream here. The sound of the flowing water is just wonderful. This is such a beautiful area, but the Sleepy Hollow Bridge, the wooden one, is right up ahead. Behind me is the famous Headless Horseman Bridge, not the one from the book, that one doesn't exist anymore, but this is the one everyone goes to, and it's a beautiful bridge. I mean, just the scenery around it, the stream, the nature, it's wonderful. One thing that's not so wonderful is when I first came here, there's like no one here. Then when I came up to the bridge, there's like a whole parade of people. I'm just trying to get one photo with no one in it. I don't think that's gonna happen. Anyways, I'm extremely hungry. It's like three o'clock, I haven't eaten lunch. I need food right now. Just saw a really cool Headless Horseman statue though. My priority is food, but every time it seems like I get distracted with one thing after another. I'm so hungry right now. I just want something filling and quick and hopefully it tastes good. I mean, I'm sure at this point anything will taste good. Onwards to food, unless I get distracted again. Finally, some lunch. I literally stopped at the first restaurant I saw. It's a Chinese place, a place called China House. Got Chinese food. I'm so hungry, I can't wait to get into this. So I got General Tso's chicken with fried rice. Oh, looks so good. And I also have an egg roll. Looks solid. And it is a lunch special, and I got it with 10 minutes to spare. Does that hit the spot or what? Just what I needed, calories. But in reality, this is pretty good food. This fits the bill. Satisfying, solid, comfort food. I even have a fortune cookie here. Let's see what I get. I can't believe this. There is literally no fortune in this cookie. Quite upset. I mean, no fortune is better than a bad fortune. I mean, the last thing I need is like a fortune that says you will burn in hell. Don't want that. Plus, I still get to eat the cookie, you know? That's somewhat winning, right? Solid lunch, it hit the spot. Plus, it was super affordable. I think I spent almost the exact same amount of money as I did in the morning for my espresso and very mediocre pastry. But now coffee is on my mind and I desperately need caffeine. So I stopped at this nearby Mexican bakery. I got this, it's some sort of cookie. It looks really good, Looks feels really light too. So we'll see how that is. And I got coffee, of course. Mm. The douchiness in me is literally evaporating with every sip I take. This is the cure to many of life's problems. Pretty solid, kind of a light, sweet sugar cookie but not too strong. Yeah, good balance. Not bad, good sweet treat. Only a buck. Things are looking up. So I'm trying to drink this coffee as fast as I possibly can so I can get right back to exploring because this day is going so quickly, just like every day. Also, really enjoying this downtown area. It's small but pleasant. Got that small town feel, but still that sleepy hollow charm. And great Halloween decorations, by the way. Another significant factor of the day is that this, I'm wearing one of my first flannels. I mean, I might have worn one as a kid, but as an adult, nope. And I thought, you know, I gotta step up my fashion game. 
I'm also starting out with safe colors, black and gray. This is kind of a gateway flannel for me. Um, I don't want to look like too much like a lumberjack, but yeah, black and gray, these colors work, I think. And you know, it's fall. I just have one more thing that I have to see, the iconic Welcome to Sleepy Hollow sign. It should be just right up ahead. And here it is. The sun is hitting it just perfect for photos. Check this out over here. I'm at Sleepy Hollow High School. They have literally the coolest high school mascot, a headless horseman. So awesome. I am running against the clock once again. I need to head to my train because it arrives in about 20 minutes or so. Oh, this day just went too fast like every day, but I think I was very productive. I felt like I saw a lot today, pretty much saw all the major sites of Sleepy Hollow, and they are some really epic sites, that's for sure. This is definitely a great spot for an autumn day trip from NYC. I mean, the leaves are not even at their peak yet, and this place is stunning. I mean, I can only imagine in a week or two, wow, this would be epic, but regardless, I thought I was very productive today, saw a lot of great sites, very interesting scenery. This is definitely a great place to visit from NYC. Great day today.